He is the owner of 41 clothing stores and more than 70 properties, but he does not wear a watch or a ring or even carry a mobile phone. His reason? Maybe I don't prefer, you know, to catch you. I mean, we don't have the telephone, telephone, or like Osama. He doesn't want to know. Doesn't want people to know where he is. That is the sort of focus and single-mindedness in Saleh Marikan, founder of Second Chance Properties, and Berita Harian, Achiever of the Year 2011. The down-to-earth businessman was honored by the Malay Daily for his drive and tenacity in the face of challenges. If they know about the history of what I went through, that shows. That failure does not mean is the end. For those who doesn't accept failure, who continue to try again and again, there is always the chance that you will make it one day. So this never see die attitude is very important if you want to go into business or to be an entrepreneur. Failure is close to his heart. That is why he called his present company Second Chance after his first venture, a tailoring business, failed after just four months. Second Chance also began life as a tailoring company, but evolved into selling ready-to-wear clothes. It was so successful that he was able to expand his business and open several more shops. Unfortunately, Saleh became a victim of his own success. There were so many ups and downs in my business life. In fact, the three years that I spent closing down twenty-one shops, that was in nineteen eighty-eight. I had twenty-five shops, twenty-one in Singapore and seven in Malaysia, and then problems arose, so I had to close. I decided to close all the shops as the best way to get out of that serious problem, and I spent three years to close down twenty-one shops. That was the worst three years of my life. Second Chance was marketed with Caucasian models, giving the impression that it was a Western brand. But when Saleh was awarded the Malay Businessman of the Year in 1988, his customers realized. That second chance was a Malay company, causing sales to drop dramatically. Though disappointed, Saleh decided to change his tactics. I opened a new kind of business, which I called First Lady, and it was an overnight success. And from that, the obstacle was overcome, and I started to move up again. First Lady sold contemporary Malay and Islamic clothing to women. The success of First Lady led to the opening of Golden Chance, which sold gold jewelry. But these successes were not enough. I want to be big. I want to be very rich. I realize even this business also can become big, but take longer. I'm getting older, so I went into property. Property is one game. That you can can jump higher faster, but you can fall to <coughs> longer faster also if you go at the wrong time. So anyway, uh, many people say I'm lucky, and I agree with everyone. So <laughs> I am here now. <laughs> Even now, Saleh is unsatisfied. He reveals his future plans for the company. Our vision now is to build up Second Chance into a billion-dollar company in market capitalization by 2022. And I have promised all my directors that I work will work harder the next ten years over the last ten years to achieve this vision. In a way, I'm telling them also they have to work harder. Winning the Berita Harian Award is just another milestone in his ambitious career. Obviously, it means something. We all are, in a way, collectors. Some people collect stamps. 
You know the old soldier uh, Collect ribbon Wow very proud Every function must put on uh. So some people collect awards uh. So this is what is true uh. Among his many business decisions Which counts as his best so far? The best decision in my life Is to marry my present wife <laughs> The father of four is the award's 13th winner and received the trophy from Transport Minister Louis Tuck Yu. Previous winners include fashion designer Ashley Isham, Master Potter Iskandar Jalil, golfer Mardan Mamat, and Deputy Secretary General of NTUC Halima Yaakob.